Hello guys! As you know, I played a lot of racing games in the last 20 years, and uh, obviously I accumulated a lot of experience and knowledge after all these years. I made already a video when I explain everything about starting the sim racing career, but uh, in this video I want to suggest you the best top 5 games to start your sim racing career. When I say the best top 5 games to start, I consider two elements, physics and difficulty with a few driving assists. Because, as I told you a lot of times, you mustn't confuse the realism in terms of physics and difficulty, because a realistic game could be easy, while a less realistic game could be harder, and vice versa. So, if you want to start your sim racing career in a serious way, it's implicit you own a steering wheel, you want uh, something realistic. For that reason I'm going to use my chart, you saw in one of my previous videos and select all the games which are on the right of this line. This is the oldest racing game of the list, 2008. Despite that, the fanbase is stronger than ever. But why? A lot of reasons. The game is still constantly updated. It's one of the most realistic simulations you can find in the market. It's used in a lot of esports tournaments. There are a lot of sponsored championships where you can win real money. The community is probably the cleanest one on the track compared to the other racing games. And the reason of this last element is partially justified by the fact you have to pay a subscription to play the game. And generally more than $10 per month. And if you're dirty on the track, the game bans you without refunding you. Adding to the price of subscription, you have to pay the game itself and uh, a lot, uh, a lot of trucks and cars. And the cost uh, may vary between uh, 3 and uh, 15 dollars. So, if you don't want to experience a big loss of money, the behavior of people is generally very, very clean on track. And this attracts a lot of new people to this uh, realistic simulator. It features slow and easy cars to drive and a lot of easy trucks to learn and drive and control the car. But keep in mind, the only available view is the cockpit view. Moreover, you can't disable the damages, so if you crash, your race is over. Luckily, in the last updates, iRacing introduces the artificial intelligence for practice in offline races. I included iRacing in my top 5 list of the hardest racing games simulations, but considering there aren't many fuel simulations out on the market, it's included in the list as well. So if you want to learn the hard way and you don't have any financial issues, iRacing is the game for you. If it wasn't for the fact that it features just the GT4 and GT3 championships limiting the variety, probably I would put it in the top 3 games to start your sim racing career. Anyway, when you take a GT4 car, which is in my opinion one of the best car classes to start when you begin your sim racing career, you can learn the basics of sport drive without big difficulties. GT4 cars have between 450 and 350 horsepower on slick tires, which makes them uh, quite drivable and uh, easy to control because they aren't too fast. Moreover, Assetto Corsa Competizione evaluates your skills, like car control, track knowledge, your pace, etc. Which is pretty useful to see if you're proving or not. The artificial intelligence is highly customizable in aggression and speed. Moreover, for a safe learning, you can disable the car damages. 
In my opinion, Assetto Corsa Competizione is the game with the best ratio between graphics and realism. Realism in terms of physics, of course. And uh, its community is increasing a lot. The Forgotten One. Why? Because uh, even if it's an old game like iRacing, uh, it was released in 2013, and despite it's still updated by the developers, the community is way smaller. The good point is uh, it features a great variety of cars, including uh, front-wheel drive, way easier than uh, rear-wheel drive. And uh, this allows the player to have a great choice uh, to start with. And do you want to know the best part of it? It's free! Yeah, you can download the official game for free on Steam. But obviously not all that glitches is gold. You have a lot, a lot of DLC to buy. Because the basics game features fuel trucks and cars. Anyway, don't worry. To have a game with a decent amount of trucks and cars, you have to spend only about 20 euros or dollars. And comparing to iRacing, you don't have to pay to play online. There is no subscription. The driving system is very simulative and you need a lot of time and practice to be really competitive. But cars, especially the less powerful ones, are easy to drive. Of course, if you go on a high powerful car, the race room uh, could be very hard, even for pro drivers. But if you stay under 300 HP, uh, I think it's a very good game to start with. On the artificial intelligence you can set up just the speed of the opponents. Race room is a good alternative to old fuel simulation, even if the graphics are a bit outdated. But considering it's free, why don't you give it a try? Despite the release in 2012, this is probably the most realistic game you can get today in terms of physics. Tires deformation damages are the best one you can find on a racing game. And as I told you in my previous videos, their tires model is crucial element in a fuel simulation. Because it allows us to see the grip loss uh, when you drive the car at its limits. Same for the force feedback. Excellent in terms of feelings and information. But what's the main difference compared to the previous three games? Mods. Mods can add easier tracks and cars to make the game perfect to learn the basics of car reactions. Basically, you can fully customize the game according to your needs. And that's a huge element which justifies the second position of Air Factor 2 on this list. It features uh, also weather conditions and the game is still updated in 2020 after all these years and the fan base is stronger compared to the race room. Before telling you the first game I want to tell you why I excluded rail games such as World Rally Championship 9, Richard Burns Rally and Dirt Rally 2.0. Well, the reason is simple. Rally is hard. And before buying a full rally simulation, it's better you learn the basics on track. So, you all ask me, well, then uh, why have you excluded Formula 1 racing games? 
it's a truck racing game after all. Well, you're right, but uh, don't forget Formula 1 cars have a total power of 1000 uh, HP and uh, before driving a 1000 HP car, I think it's better to start with a slower one, don't you think? Its Majesty Assetto Corsa was released in 2014 on PC and in uh, 2017 on PS4 and Xbox One and the PC version is totally customizable like L Factor 2 but uh, with a bigger number of modes and uh, the fact it's available on both PC and console is the main reason why I decided to set it in the first position. In terms of difficulty, it could be extremely easy or extremely hard according to the car you want to drive. And uh, this makes the perfect uh, game for training and learning for beginners. The fan base is bigger than Era Factor 2. And it's easier to find people of your skills level if you search in forums online. But Assetto Corsa isn't just racing. You can also have a track days with your friends or drive on uh, mountain roads. This simulation is almost a sandbox which you can customize according to your needs. One year ago, for example, I even used it to help a young guy to familiarize with the cars, to pass its real driving instance. Really, if you want to start your sim racing career in this fuel simulation, you can't go wrong. I hope now you have understood more the world of fuel simulations and uh, you can choose the racing game which is the best for your needs. Thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next video!